Hey guys, welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween. Today, we are doing Mama Imelda from the movie Coco. If you want to see how we made this look happen, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to start by going in with Mehron's Cream Makeup in White. We're going to outline her face, where her skeletal features are, and then we're going to go in and fill it all in. If you don't get this super precise, that is a-okay. We're going to go back in after and line everything with black body paint um, and fill it in wherever the, it is to make it sure you can see her actual face features and her body shape. Um, but just remember that if it's not perfect, it is okay. Here we are going in with the Water Activated Body Paints from Mayron in the Tropical Palette. We're going to use a few of these. We're starting with purple, the light purple. We're then going to go in with the dark purple, and then we're going to use the pink. Here we're just putting the petals around her eyes, um, and then we're going to use the dark purple to add the details. Then there's a pink patch in there on these petals, um, and then eventually we add the lashes around her eyes as well. Lots of little details, but it really gives the character all her character. If anyone has a hard time finding the right consistency with the um, Mayron body paints, I know I have as I've learned to use them and whatnot. I found wat uh, watering my brush, wetting my brush and then swirling them into the paint um, really helps with the consistency and getting that really opaque color that we're looking for when we're going to do body painting and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind that you really want to wet the brush and then work it into the body paints to get the really bold colors that you're looking for. All the fine detailing that you see me doing, I'm using brushes from Royal and Lane Nickel. They really have been the best brushes that I've used for any detailing I've ever done. Maybe in my eyes, maybe body painting, maybe for special effects. Just keep that in mind. Now to add some dimension around the mask, we're going in with the Bronze Babe palette from Morphe. Um, and all we're really doing is adding some depth around the edges, around the eyes, because her eyes are sunken in. And then we're going to do it around the edges of her face, on like her cheekbones and around her mouth and jaw. Just so that once we add the black body paint to show her features and her shape, um, it's going to look three dimensional, not black and white against each other. Gotta make it all come together.
For her lips, we're going to go in with Lime Crimes Velveteen in Red Rose. Um, this is a matte color, but I like it because it's super bold and it lasts. And it dries all the way down. It's perfect. Here we are going in and just filling in our spaces with that black body paint. Um, you can use water activated paints or cream paints, whatever you want to do. Um, I didn't go all the way around her face, but I really should have because once I put that wig on, it didn't hide all the spaces around the face. So, anyways, here I am just going in around the face and then around the eyes and we'll do everything on the chest. I know I didn't show you the entire chest piece, but it ended up being like out of frame and it was a mess. I couldn't add it in. But you guys got most of the face, so you guys can see all that jazz and how we put it together. I did go back in too and intensify some of those shadows um, around the edges of her face and her eyes. Just they blended more seamless and made a little bit more sense. So we had all that great dimension to her face. We wanted it to look rounded and not flat. Um, and it really did help and it really pulled the character together. It's like contouring her little skull cheekbones. It was really cute actually. Here's the finished look for Mama Amanda from the movie Coco. I hope you guys love this full, full look that I've never done so much body paint up in my entire life as much as I do. I plan on doing more full pieces like this. If you guys like everything we're doing so far, make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of our 31 Days of Halloween. I'll see you guys soon.